there. Oh, it's not it's not favorited anymore. Why are you not favorited? And this will be interesting to see what happens here. Because this is using the exact save game setup as what I've got for that demo there. So will it have a hissy fit? <laughs> no, we're okay. Right, let's have a look at the... Oh, someone's already done it. Nice one. Uh, day 411. So we've got a tier 3 and... Oh, shit. That's too close, guys. That's too close. Oh, well. Let's get the hell out of it. Uh, ah, yes, we were all set up ready to rock and roll, weren't we? Although I would argue... I have no idea why we've got any of this. <laughs> Where did all this come from? Uh, pears don't belong in there. Pears. Water we were going to take. The aloe vera we might as well leave here. So we've got the calipers, got the headlight for Fortune's mobile spotlight. Yeah, okay, let's go. Let's do it. It's 6.42. We're on our way to the desert. So what did you think of the mods then? It's a shame we couldn't sort of like show you a bit more, but I just wanted to show you that we've got them up and running. I suppose now I just need to spend some time actually learning them. Uh... It's, it's always a tricky one, isn't it? I had a couple of mods where I spent ages trying to understand how they all worked and what we're going to do, and then found out we couldn't use them anyway. So we've had to sort of work a bit backwards, if you like. How many arrows we got? 139. Well, we'll be able, we'll be able to make um, our own once we get back over there, won't we? Yeah, the horde command's already. Uh, might as well take those two cotton. Look. And no, no, fuck that. Put that back in there. Quick nom nom before we set off. Yeah, we're fine. So, the, the, just one of the things that I've not sort of touched on. The, for example, that large generator. It makes an absolute metric shit ton of noise. So, it's something that you don't want sitting, uh, in, in our case, too close to the exits or, or the perimeter. Where the fuck do you think you're going, bro? This... this <laughs> Is he going all the way up? Oh, I was going oh, to see if he would. Let's see if he'll go up. No, oh, she's on to me. I think there must be Z's in there. Oh, hang on. He's not dead, is he? Oh, my word. <laughs> I thought I'd fallen off there. <laughs> Oh, that's a tricky shot, mate. That's a tricky shot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on! No way, dude! That is some bollocks, that is. good isn't it I, I really like the mods there you know I, I feel like we've got we've got something that's certainly going to add a little bit of depth and complexity to the game in terms of the power so, so you know it's one of the fun things I suppose about a Minecraft mod is it's actually like learning what you can now do uh, it's, it's certainly a step in the right direction for me getting power to light but again I've not had a chance to really look into exactly how that all works so I think this evening what I'll do is I'll take a bit of time out and actually learn the power mod a bit better so I can just kind of showcase that tomorrow just for half an hour um it's little things, isn't it? Like, you know, we're going we're to think things are broken because, you know, you can't play something, but actually it's because we're using the wrong type of cable. Um, the, the mods are not particularly well documented. Um, it, it does rely on you actually sitting down and having a look at it and playing about with it a little bit. So, you know, we're going to have to do that anyway, and hopefully 
by doing little showcases at the start of the stream, we can start figuring a few a few extra things out. Uh, certainly going to have that. I mean, the, the one that's non-negotiable um, in terms of the server is the lift. That is going in whether people want it or not. Um, <laughs> sorry, but exec decision and all that. If people don't want the power or, or all the other things, you know, we can have a chat about it. But uh, I think we'd be mad not to give it a go. So in multiplayer room, can you crap uh, players in those hamsters? <laughs> I don't think so, Slade. I'm pretty sure not, mate. Although I have no doubt there'd be a way to code it. <laughs> I have absolutely no doubt about that, mate. I don't see any reason why not. We did work out the fish filleting, yes. It was ever so simple, actually, Simpsy. Some, some very clever soul suggested just simply placing the fish like you would a block. So uh, yeah, works like a works like a charm. I don't think there's any. I don't think anyone's going to moan about the. Well, I don't think they will. No one's going to mind us installing the fishing mod. Again, we can come up with like some really nice recipes and stuff. You know, just just yeah, sort of make make the server our own. You know. It's going to keep us going slow for 15, isn't it? Well, that's my spare bike pull away. How are we actually doing for fuel in here? Six and fully fueled. Let's go. Let's do it. And then, of course, we also need to finish off the Grum Pyramid as well. Uh, I've not had a chance to look at uh, Stripe stuff. I'm going to do that later. I'll tell you what, it's been hard work figuring out some of these mods, though, for a deadly server. It really has. Um, but we should be all right. I think I, I've got enough knowledge now to get most of them working. And I think the beauty of it is I've learned enough to be able to probably get them up and, up and running even when we have updates as well. Unless something massive changes. I mean, obviously, if they fundamentally change the way the game works in terms of the XML structure and, and that, then, of course, we're going to be screwed. But Right, off we go. I don't think we're going to be able to get this up and running in two days, guys. To show. If we'd had like three or four days, we'd have been all right, wouldn't we? We could have put this to the test on a tier three horde, but I think we're going to have to come back to Caliper. <laughs> What's that? You miss Hurdy Gurdy? <laughs> We've not had Hurdy Gurdy for a long time. We never got a chance to play with that uh, that other one, did we? That I'd, I'd literally just installed her, hadn't I? She was waiting for us uh, outside White Run in the stables. I can't remember the lady's name. She looked like a lot of fun, actually. All right, we want to come across to about here. Yeah, the, the, the power one's interesting. Uh, I think the danger is is that you run the risk of, of something becoming incredibly overpowered because unless you literally work your way through the entire mod, you know, workbench by workbench, looking at how hard it is to get some of the schematics. Um, you, you know, for example, you can essentially create, like, drilling machines which you can fuel with batteries, and they just start... Ch it all depends on what you do. So say, for example, just there. See that coal? If I actually place the drilling machine on the coal, um, what it does is, it, while it's got batteries in it, it basically consumes the batteries and just starts chucking coal in, into its inventory. So you can actually sort of like be remotely mining. Now, of course, that, that runs the danger of becoming like super OP. But the simple fact of the matter is the batteries don't last long. So it, <laughs> I suppose... I don't know. I'm just not sure. I'm just not sure. I don't know enough about the mods to know how... Oh, no! Brakes! So close. So close. 
Sophia, that was it, yeah. Well, I, I, I was talking about it earlier this week, since I actually I did actually go back and start modding um, up the next version, and that that always inspires me to go back to the old one. But um, I think with the imminent release of the new version, I've got a very limited window to go back to that now, haven't I? I think does it release in October or November? We essentially have to finish up. Uh, what was that? what was the character's name? Sericial, wasn't it? Maybe we should. Maybe we should, Simpsy. And then I can start working on a whole new mod pack once the uh, the big update hits. And hopefully, I mean, it, it, if, they're, if they're reproducing it, if you like, or recreating it for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, if they fundamentally change how the engine works and the memory allocation, we might actually be able to get even more mods in there. Who knows? I mean, that, that's wishful thinking, but... Oh, should we go via... Uh... Yeah, let, let's go via... Um... Oh, we, we, I'm going to bugger about here, aren't I? We're going to run out of time. No, we definitely aren't going to get day three done. Let's go and have a look at um, Athena. See how, uh, is, is this Mojo's or is this Bombers? I can't remember. He's got his farms looking nice. Look. You right, Regan? How you doing? Uh, what's that be? So if you can get the electricity mod working, can you have an automatic factory quarry going on? Sort of. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, it all comes down to batteries, though, mate. You're still going to have to be charging the batteries all the time because they're remotely operated. So, for example, the, the, the diggers and stuff, you can't power directly with a generator. Or at least I don't think you can. I'm pretty sure you can't. It's very similar to last time, but I suppose the magic's all probably happened down there, maybe. We won't go sniffing around. He's got his little farm. Well, it looks nice. I do like this. Hmm, yeah, cool. Alright, let's carry on. I'll go and get a coffee. As soon as we get there, I'm going to lock myself in my cave and get a coffee. Parched. Parched, my good friends. Parched. It'll break all the mods. I have absolutely no doubt it'll break every single mod, uh, Fortune. Uh, I, I think uh, the whole stack of cards is going to crumble on us but you know what the Skyrim modding community is like they'll have them back up and running in no time you'll have mod authors revisiting their old mods and fixing things that they can never be asked to fix before I think it'll be a breath of fresh life into Skyrim to be honest it's like I said especially if they change some of the core uh, memory allocation within that engine uh, I mean you've got to think I mean, I don't know. I've, I've not really... Because the creation kit for Fallout 4 wasn't released at the time when I was sort of looking at it, I don't know, you know, if if we've been given a little bit more of an overhead with Fallout 4 than we were with Skyrim. You've got to think you're certainly going to have a, a better-looking game, uh, even as vanilla, aren't you, with, with the new lighting implementation. But it, that don't really matter to someone like me who runs a big motherfucking knob. Wow. Uh, can't remember what they're called now. Um, you know what I mean. <laughs> EMB. EMB. That's, that's the word I was looking for. Oh, uh, did I open the door? Oh, shit. I actually... Oh, no, oh, God. I nearly said in chat, we'll leave the door open as we found it. Did I actually... Oh, shit. Because last time we went there, that was already open, wasn't it? Thought we used it as his, his quick get in. Let's go and close it. Sorry, folks. It's a bear! Now, I'm looking forward to having a couple of those Zs in uh, the middle of Caliper City. 
roaming around. I think we might be able to use, I don't know, maybe we can use them to, oh no, actually, what can you use them to power? I'm not entirely sure. I don't know if you can run an electrical cable from them or if they're just there because they haven't got an inventory. Oh, mate, you might be able to put batteries in them. You might be able to charge batteries with the rotting flesh, with the, uh, the zombie wheels. Again, something for us to test. Grum, someone let the dogs out. They are here to nibble on is the that Grum today, sack. Is it? Oh, it is, isn't Feed it? Them yeah, well. well spotted. <laughs> lead bears into Bomber's house. Wonder what his uh, his actual base in the ground looks like. I bet it's bets bets a right swank palace down there. Ooh. Is it just that one hatch there then? I can't imagine a Z getting in there, but we'll lock it up for him. Leave it as we found it. We'd only expect everyone to do the same for us, so that seems perfectly reasonable. Thank you to everyone who pointed that out. Now, let's head straight back to the city. Now, it's nearly coffee time. Yay! Yeah, the, the, the mods in this game, honestly, I've re really been enjoying playing about with them. Um... It's quite interesting because I've got a much better idea on how these work than I have the Skyrim mods already, to be fair. I think, I think the, the thing with Skyrim was there were so many people working with it, with the creation kit, that you never really had to fix anything yourself. But the mod authors were just so involved and so vocal on the forums. Um, whereas, the, the, I don't know if any of you have spent any time on the Seven Days to Die sort of SDX forums or, or the various other sites that have popped up around it, because the Nexus is dead. The Nexus is virtually dead when it comes to Seven Days to Die mods. You know, people just aren't using it. Or at least they don't seem to be. All the mods that are on there, let's put it this way. You know, they're, not, they're not the most exciting ones. But um, it's a very, very small community. Very small. You'll see the same six... Well, I'll be honest, two to six people in every single thread. You've got, like, Paco, Immortal Entus. I mean, th those guys are, like... Uh, someone described them as the... Uh, oh, what was it? Uh, the Tesla... And, who, who, was, who, were the, <laughs> who were the two electric guys? Uh, <laughs> what the hell was that? Spoilers on me. And, uh, I mean, what, what they don't know about the game... I mean, I'm sure the fun pimps must look at some of the mods they've done and think, you know, that, that's, a good, that's a good workaround for something we're working on. I love the lift one, though. That's another guy, a guy called 308, I think his name is. He's done some really nice mods. You right, Dolphin? <laughs> I could get one of those instant coffee machines. What's that? What do you mean, mate? An instant coffee machine. Can you get an instant? Well, instant, like instant. The press of a bang, bazinga. <laughs> Tesla and Edison, that's it, mate. Yeah, it made me chortle when I read it. It's like a Paco and Mortal Enters. I think Paco's like real. I think Mortal Enters does a lot of the coding. I think Paco's like really good with the artistic side of things. Uh, the animations and stuff but uh, combined they are a force to be reckoned with and they're really supportive of SDX as well and whether or not they're actively involved specifically in the creation of that I, I'm not too sure whereas people like Val uh, are sort of you know they've said they don't support SDX as, as it is uh, I'm not sure why that is but I think Val just likes I don't know doing things manually maybe um, but Val's mod has been ported over to SDX by like a, a third party on the forums if you like the SDX is it's, it's something that, for me, I have to have. I could not even begin to expect people to do what we're having to do to get things up and running on a Deddy server. There's so many manual tweaks in some cases. You know, it's a lot of work. It's not. It's just not fair. You know, at the worst, all people have to do is, is download five or six files, stick them in a folder on their computer, 
run the SDX front end to make sure the mods are in the right order. Bish bash bosh, job done. They're running exactly what we've got on the server. You know, once people are comfortable with it, it'll probably take you longer to download the files than it would to uh, get them up and running. I know there was at least one mod I forgot to show you, and I can't for the life of me think what it was. See, what we're going to do, now we've got that ramp working, that's what, uh, sorry, ramp, the elevator working, that's what we're going to do, um for our entrance to our tunnel. So we do actually need to be super careful we get that exactly the right height. So one of the things we're going to be doing at some point today, tomorrow, there we go, is uh, building a 3x3 three three hole here. And that's where the lift's going to sit. Uh, that'd be interesting, actually. Let's see what happens to that one that's inside. Are they smart enough to find the one way out? It looks like they are, you know. That's actually... I'll tell you what, that's pretty fucking impressive, that is. She started all the way over there, and she actually managed to figure out the only way out. Uh, that, 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 um, that, that's cool. That is pretty damn cool, mate. She dead. Yeah. So just here will be where the ramp is. Um, now, one of the things that I am a little bit worried about is zombies falling into it. <laughs> so we either we, we've got one or two options. We either build like a little hut um, around it, or we have it only going down eight deep and have it like too high on the top. So zombies can sort of, well, they'll get stuck. Uh, and we, obviously, we sent it back up. What do you think? Do you think that's probably the better way of doing it? Is having the, the ramp too high? We can still drive the mini bike up and onto it with uh, like a little ramp. So we'd, we'd go onto the mini bike, we'd flick the switch, we'd go down into the tunnel, we'd, we'd send it back up to the top so it was flush. Don't know. What do you, anyone got any thoughts on that? Oh, hang on. I've got to go and get a drink, guys. I've literally just not shut up for like two hours and uh, trying to figure out those mods as well. She might have spawned in there. You never know, do you? What was this? Let's have a look at this. What's this instant coffee thing? Instant coffee at work. Who works in the such condition? <laughs> <laughs> what is this one? Tesco's. Oh, no. No, I haven't. Uh, aren't they, like, ludicrously expensive to run, mate? I, I know Advina uh, and I had a, a lengthy chat about some of the options that are out there. Uh, I, I've never really followed through on any of them, to be honest. Right. Let's put some of our super goodies away. That's all needed for repair kits. We need to go and plant... Ah, shit. Walker, okay, let's put that safely down here. We'll leave the car battery. We just need a bit of iron for that. This can go up top. That can go up top. We're going to plant... Do you reckon we can just plant uh, cotton on sand? Do you think it will actually work? Right. AFK for two.
Right, I'm back. I've just seen someone shout of room. So presumably that's the end of uh, the drag rest. Right, let's get our cotton field set up. Okay, uh, is there anywhere in particular, uh, does it matter? I presume we've got to break them down into seeds anyway, right? Thinking about it. Can't imagine you can just shove them on sand. Seems a bit, seems a bit unlikely, doesn't it? <laughs> we'll try, we'll try, we'll see what happens. And I suppose the next mod, if we're all happy with those as well, I mean, I don't want to go too crazy, but it just seems it seems mad not to do things uh, with Alpha 15 about to hit, is the farming mod. But the farming mod, honestly, it, ta it takes things to a whole nother level. Where, you know, obviously, we're like having to have water and... Uh, hang on a sec. I'm back. Um, let's just see if we can actually plant it before we carry on doing this, actually. Oh my god, you can. You can just plant cotton in the middle of the desert. How cool is that? <laughs> I'm not going to argue. I'm not going to argue at all. But yeah, sorry, go back to the farming mod. Honestly, it, it makes it. it it's... It, it, it takes farming to actually be like if you're gonna farm you're gonna have to be investing quite a lot of your game time to it so this is going to help us set, basically this is designed to set up a sort of like a medical supply uh, element of the base isn't it because obviously there's, there's plenty of aloe around here yeah, or at least yeah, the was. I think one of the things we've got to uh, invest in mod-wise is the ability to plant aloe. Otherwise, you know, it's the only bit of desert I found thus far. Uh, thank you very much for the follow there. Who is that? A boss. Cheers, mate. How are you doing? Oh, shit. Wrong gun. Why have I not got my shotgun on that? Oh my god, it's that bloody ammo! That completely screwed me over, that did. Got the wrong thing on the wrong slot on my toolbar. Completely threw me. <laughs> Switch! Unbelievable, bro. So close to being dead. I've only I've only been here like what ten minutes. Holy shit! 
You know what I didn't bring, don't you? I didn't bring my fucking iron armor. We're gonna have to go make some. God damn it, dude. Uh, that means I'm gonna need some leather, right? Leather, 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 leather. No hide. Yes, we have. <laughs> it's, I, it's, I'm really thinking about uh, the mods at the minute. I'm really thinking about what we can do because it's going to change how I build stuff. So I don't I'm gonna have to sort of like plan a bit ahead. Um, how much forged iron have I got? Two. Tell you what, then, let's get these puppies up and running. Let's make fifty of that. There we go. How much do I need for the iron armor? Three seconds, but well, I tell you what, I'm not going naked with dogs around, so sod that. We'll just have to overheat for a few minutes. What's that? Oh my god, table flip, they took out the D emote. I still don't know how you lot all know all these different emotes. I only know the smiley face, that's it. And the wink. <laughs> I don't know how you remember them all. I'm alright, thanks, boss. What about yourself, mate? Just been uh, having a look at some mods for this game, so uh, I'm sort of in, in happy la la land at the minute. I'm all excited. <laughs> you wouldn't be happy, would you, Fortune? All right, let's switch that out for the military vest. Let's also go and pop our calipers in, which we'll shove in this side. Um, oh, it's turned on, isn't it? God damn it. There we go. And um, while we're doing that, let's make ourselves some steel arrowheads. Uh, let's make, I don't know, let's say 150 of those. So, we're kind of at the point where we urgently need to throw iron in there again. Let's put a stack of 1,000 in. There we go. Oh, really? It's bloody... It's shocking. Uh, that can all go downstairs. So what are, we, what are we actually doing over here? I suppose the main thing is getting sand, isn't it? Uh, so we can carry on with concrete production. That's why we brought the auger over. So let's go and get that up and running. How do I make fuel? Just with the shale. Is there anything else you need other than the shale? You alright, Schmeggy? How you doing, buddy? Take so the yucca and the aloe vera. We want to get lots and lots of aloe vera over the next few days. Um, we don't need all the water on us. Okay, animal hides, and that. So let's take the auger and the repair kit, and let's go and start making some gas. It's already quarter past seven. It's dangerous, isn't it? Because as soon as we get, ah, oh, that's, that is, that's a bad idea, mate, coming out of this time of night. Let's go and get some shale bubbling up in the beaker. You don't need to mix it with anything else, do you? It's just shale, right? Let's 
put a little bit of wood in just quickly. Uh, gas can 40. Oh, wow. 4,000. Is that, is that the equivalent of four? Stacking thousands, don't they, I think. All right. Let's go and get a little bit of fuel. We've got any fuel anywhere else? Don't think we have, have we? Not that we're going to be sure, but... Okay. <laughs> we get all those tears in the land, haven't we? Hello, Mojo. You're back, are you, dude? Mojo, thank you so much for earlier, buddy. That's insane, mate. Right, completely knackered already, look. But we should be able to make our own repair kits, right? Once we've got the cotton farm up and running. Oh, that's the other thing I need to be bubbling down, actually. I need to be getting the bones of bubbling. Oh, God, which needs water, doesn't it? Oh, I didn't think of that. Is there any water anywhere near us? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's not far away at all, look. So that, that's that problem solved. What we'll do is we'll make, like, I don't know, like a hundred glass jars, and we'll just head over to the uh, river again. I, might, I think I'll make a second campfire. See you later, Dyko. Take care, mate. I hope, you're, uh, hope you get it all sorted, dude. <laughs> Sweaty hugs. Ah. There's nothing worse than a, than a big person coming up and giving you a big hug with sweaty armpits around you. Oh, what the hell? No, stop that, mate. <laughs> Have a sniff of my pits. I'd really rather not. If it's all the same with you, my dear friend. <laughs> It's that look that you give. It's just like, oh no! <laughs> it's the same look you used to give your nan with a hairy lip back when you were little. <laughs> Mom, no! Is it all going ready for the move, uh, Fortune? Is it all? Uh, is it kind of all semi done? Are you sort of get to the point where work is complete, just waiting for the, the big day. How do you make a gun safe? Do you need do you need a spring for a gun safe? I think you do, don't you? Fancy making a gun safe for some of my more important things like the repair kits, the organ, the fuel. So it's that wooden box, a, zo a zombie could hit that and, and, and sort of just smash it. I think we need to make uh, something a bit more permanent. Although I suppose if you get a fucking move on and do fuck, fuck it. Do you reckon we can survive a tier 3 horde? I don't think we can. I don't think we've got enough defences, and I don't think I've got enough ammunition, because I've not got any exploded crossbow bolts or anything, have I? Ah, oh, shit. I just heard a... <gasps> There's a dog. There's another one. Oh, how are you not dead? There's another one coming. Oh my god, there's a fucking bear! Oh my god, there's a fucking bear, dude! Bear!
Jar. God damn! I went to shit quickly. God damn it, it's been such a peaceful morning. I've been tinkering, tinkering with things, I've been fiddling with stuff. A fucking parachuting, abseiling motherfucking bear, dude! Right, I'm going to sit in my hole. Fuck them. <laughs> oh, Jesus, mate. Ah, that made you sit up right, didn't it, Achevo? <laughs> How you doing, Blue? You alright, mate? Right, I'm going to drink my coffee, sod that. So anyway, go back to the mods. Is, is everyone, I mean, for, for, I'm not sure if anybody who's on the server saw it all, but I mean, are you all happy with that? I mean, was there anything that people thought, oh, you know, I, I'm really not comfortable with that side of things? I mean, I suppose the beauty of it is, is you, you, you know, you don't have to participate in the mods. You know, if you don't want to have power generators and mining things, you don't need to, do you? Uh, you don't have to go fishing. Uh, yeah, that, oh, yeah. We can try and make it as simple as we possibly can for uh, putting it into your game. Oh, that's good coffee. You're right, cats. Live in the hole and never leave. <laughs> Sounds like a good idea, actually, mate. <laughs> it was all so easy this morning. <laughs> Already got four thousand sand locks. That's four thousand cement.